Come on guys. Absolutely beautiful day out here today. Looks like we're uh, starting to get some uh, green on the trees. Uh, let's see, what is it? It's Saturday, 10-13. Uh, we got 61 degrees Fahrenheit and 16 degrees Celsius. Charging at 9.1 amps. And that fan and that inverter is kind of annoying. But uh, getting somewhere on the, uh, the uh, Chinese bike rebuild. Um, got the exhaust kind of fabbed up in here. Uh, things I want to do before I, you know, basically I tear this all back apart. You know, repaint the frame and uh, I'll have to take the exhaust system out and like weld it all the way around. Right now it's just kind of uh, tacked together as it needs to be. And uh, also I want to get the battery box in here welded in. Then I can tear it all apart. Uh, other things I got done. I got the uh, motor mounts made. Um, I probably won't like bolt them up. I'll just make sure that they fit. And uh, you know, wait till I actually put it together to get them on there. So sometimes I end up having to drill a hole a little bigger or something because you know it might not be fit perfect. I haven't even took them over there and tried to see if they even they should be fine. Usually, whenever I you know make them out of cardboard and stuff, they usually are pretty close. Um, other things, these are the rear hubs. And these rear hubs actually used to have, um, here's a, a set just like them. And you see there's like a raised area on them. And my wheels, you know, wouldn't go up all the way up against the, the surface. So, uh, had them, had a buddy actually turn them off. So, it's kind of a weird thing to get set up in. I think he actually used the center up against this and then chucked it to here. But, you know, so now my wheels can go flush up against. Uh, rear brake system, cleaned it all up nice and pretty again. And uh, foot pegs, put a nice coat of paint on them. And once again, it was just this crappy paint on here that just got wet a couple times and it was rusting. So I just, well, you guys see I got some runs right there. <laughs> Little wells. Um, the paint that I actually use on, I use on this stuff, it's this Duplicolor One Coat stuff. Uh, that stuff's hard to paint with. I mean, you gotta go like super fast across it and it is a coat of paint. So it's kind of hard to, I'm not used to using it, so that's why I got runs on that, but oh well. Um, Cleaned these hubs up, took them all apart, re-greased them, and went through my boxes of crap, found new caps for them because uh, one was missing and the other one had been all cut up by the key. Um, it wasn't bent over properly so it just it sawed it in half. I got nice matching caps on there. Which a lot of times they end up, you know, coming up missing later on. But they do protect your bearings from getting all crappy if you got them. Well, here's that paint. You know, paint primer. Supposed to be able to go on plastic and stuff. But you see here, it's one can equals two. And the rear grab bar was also, uh, it was black. And I'm kind of trying to get some silver stuff in here. Um, just try to break it up some because it was just the bike is originally was all blue plastics um, and you know black frame it was just you know just bold looking and it wasn't really didn't really have anything it gave it some pop and the uh, well I'm out of breath for some reason today and the shocks that was for the Rhino thing, I'm going to borrow them for this project because they're exactly the right length of this thing. So I had 400EX shocks on it for a while and they're, they're shot. 
they leaked out everywhere and so I'm just gonna borrow these guys pretty nice looking deals um, don't really know how they perform yet but so that's where I'm at on this guy uh, I guess next thing will be uh, after I get everything welded up start painting it and start putting it together um, tires I got some uh, on the uh, tractor thing uh, when I got this tractor the deal was I had to give back the wheels that was on the back of it and uh, the only ones I had that's three quarter inch keyed was 20 inch tires and this tractor is actually supposed to have 18s and a guy at work was getting rid of these and said I can have them they are a little leaky um, I aired this one up yesterday and it's still is full but he said they do go down after a few days which is pretty typical for stuff like this so I don't really care you know as long as uh, they stay up long enough to mow I'm not really too concerned I can maybe put some fix a flat or something in them but um something I wanted to show you guys it's kind of kind of annoying but uh, you know as far as how this stuff works but you know that's a 20 inch tire this is an 18 but I don't know where are these guys you know where these companies get these sizes at but you know this guy here's like 16 you know it's like 16 and a half maybe we got yeah it's probably about 16 inches and it's a 18 inch tire Okay, then we go over to this one. Now, this one, you know, comparing size to size, this one here is a 20. Uh, let's see if I can get this tape measure to. You know, this one here is supposed to be a 20. And, you know, it's like. You know, it's 19 or a little better. And then you go over here, this is also a 20, okay? And it's more like uh, 18 inch. And I mean, I'll be squeezing to get 18 inches, you know, it's a little less. But I don't know, it's just annoying, like, because, you know, I had one tire on this go flat, and this one here is like three quarter inch with like flats. It's not a key to axle, it's got like little flats on the ends. And, you know, one of them's bigger than the other. <laughs> so I actually did get a hold of another set of tires that has three quarter inch flats. I can get a matching set on here and you know they're a little taller they're also 20s but they're a little taller which would make this thing here you know like right now this deck is leaning back because tires are too small and then like this one here which this one here is supposed to have smaller tires on the back but the deck is leaning you know leaning forward because the back's too high but you know I don't know um, another thing, I got a free engine. Uh, runs, starts good and everything, um, but it is a Tecumseh. So, eh, I'm not really too fond of Tecumseh's, but it's a running engine. It does, yeah, it runs just fine. doesn't use oil or anything, I guess, so that's cool. But uh, that's about all I got for today. You know, getting getting ahead here with some stuff. I think today I'm actually going to have to go out and do some mowing. Uh, I didn't mow last weekend, so it has two weeks now that hasn't been mowed, and it's usually usually a bad thing, especially on that field. It likes to really grow. It's kind of funny uh, how the grass is here. Like up there, it's like this really dark green you know field grass you know down here where the house used to be is like normal yard grass down here it's just weeds now in this area is just weeds for most of the summer but then like the, the latter half of the summer it's crabgrass I mean solid crabgrass it looks kind of pretty when you got it mowed but you know how it is to mow that stuff 
And then down over here, it's like swamp grass. It, it kind of grows in clumps, you know, and it, it's like a, I don't know, swamp grass. You know, it usually like grows in really wet areas, which is kind of wet over there, but it's weird how the grass is here. It got like four different kinds. But, uh, and it grows at different rates. You know, some weekends I come out here, I have to mow, you know, one area, not another. And then later on in the summer, it'll be more of, you know, be opposites. Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'll catch you guys later.